Impromptunes acknowledges that this podcast is recorded on the traditional lands of the Boonwurrung peoples of the Kulin Nation. We pay our respects to Elders past, present and emerging and celebrate their enduring connections to country, knowledge and stories. Impromptunes, 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 impromptunes. Do you hear the people improvising? Good people of the world, thanks for tuning in to Impromptunes, the completely improvised musical podcast. Now here they are, the cast of Impromptunes. Hello, everybody. It's Impromptunes. Woo! 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 Yeah. My name is Isaac Lim, and I am your MC today. And I'm very pleased to have with me in the studio Jacob Quick. Hello. Hello. I'm very excited to be here. You know, your hair is so long nowadays. Thank you. We've talked about this so much. (laughs) Really? On the podcast? podcast. Wow. So serial listeners to the podcast will be... So just to update you, it's probably like at its longest, it's probably like 30 centimetres or something. Oh, that's very long. Do you agree? Yeah. Yeah, It's about a foot long. Foot long, off the head, um, past the shoulders, kind of touching the collarbone um yeah it's looking it's so what what i mean do people make comments like outside of this studio as well yes what do they say people some people like it my parents hate it do they um and i always tell people i'm gonna turn it into a mullet um and then they're like yes go right are you serious about that i think so okay yeah and what don't your parents like about it they what do they think I've had short hair for the majority of my life, and I think they're just, oh. like, it's messy. Yeah. And, um, and they feel like they're losing their son, too. Yes, I think so. Yeah. Oh, well. That's it's, growing up, I, think I guess. hair is a gateway drug, too. Mm, um, tattoos. T- yeah. Piercings. Absolutely. Great. Speaking of piercings, hello, Isabella Fallet. Hey, that's it. You caught me out. I got one in each ear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Red-handed. What, what comments do you get about your hair? Um, uh, I guess my hair has changed colour recently. Yeah, it's a bit darker, isn't it? It's darker yeah. post-lockdown. Yeah, right. Uh, I used to dye it real blonde. Uh-huh. Um, and then during lockdown, obviously had no access to hairdressers and just decided that I was like, that's fine. Yeah. And I realised that I didn't need to spend so much time and money in at the hairdresser mm. and that my natural colour is actually fine. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful colour, actually. Thank you. Yeah, so I just only went to the hairdresser like once in a year and I saved so much time and money and mm. I'm just happy to be me, Barbie. Yeah, it's it's great. So I feel like I should explain why I said happy to be me, Barbie because yeah, well, no one mentioned... Like it was weird. Um, so <laughs> I thought it must have been like a, no. A th- there was like a Barbie. Yeah. yeah, there was a Barbie that came out like in the 2000s called Happy to Be Me Barbie, uh-huh. which was basically like not as blonde and kind of like not as thin. It was just like Happy to Be Me Barbie, mm. and oh. so that was what that reference was. Great, accepting yeah. accepting yourself. That's Good it on that Barbie and that Barbie only. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And everyone who purchased that Barbie oh, of course. as well. As I actually, nobody else I didn't acceptance. purchase that Barbie. Oh. Um, I purchased uh, problematic ones <laughs> <laughs> exclusively <laughs> and played with them exclusively. Well, that is what we are all about here at Impromptune's problematic content. Uh, and on <laughs> that note, I'm going to fish out a title from our Bowl of Destiny so that we can create a completely improvised musical on the spot for you. It's all, mi- it's all made up, the songs, the dialogue, the characters, the dancers, the music. Um, speaking of which, I've left out perhaps our most important person in the room, Cohen Van Zambeek. Pianist extraordinaire and very fine fellow. Ooh, that jazz. Um, so um, I've reached into the bowl of destiny um, as, as observed by everybody in the room um, and I've plucked out this one. It's a bit torn, but I can still read it. It's called... The Merry Dinosaur. And uh, it has come to us from M- Michael Andrew from Instagram. Uh, the Merry Dinosaur. That's How enjoyable. Yeah, it's kind of fun, isn't it? Sounds like it might be a Christmas inspired dino theme. 
<laughs> well, using the word Mary? Mary, yeah, that does sort of imply... Mary is a word I would use in order to describe Christmas and but exclusively Christmas. I actually wonder if it's a reference to the Merry Widow, you know, the the mm, opera. That um, sounds problematic. The, yeah. <laughs> Widows are typically not, not that merry, merry unless, unless they hate their done husband. something bad. Well, yeah, it could be. Or so it could be the Merry Dinosaur, as in Mary, the mother of Jesus dinosaur. Uh, and Different fa- spelling, I'm though? I'm afraid it's not spelt that way, so no. Mm. Yeah, That's but a shame. I, I really wanted that. to do a Christmas Mary dinosaur. When yeah. I was a child, I was obsessed with the Virgin Mary, actually. I used to put really? a like, towel on my head every time I came out of the shower <laughs> and like, pretend to be her. Oh my You've goodness. been obsessed with some weird things, as I will oh, be honest. Continue to be. Do you think that Incredible. that's influenced your personality development? Do I think like, what? Th- that looking at yourself as Mary, Mother of Jesus, has influenced like the person you've become. For sure. I'm I'm still a virgin. Um. (laughs) (laughs) Great. Okay, well, uh, here we are for once and for all, about to improvise for your very ears, the Merry Dinosaur. Triceratops. Pterodactyl Brachiosaurus T-Rex Stegosaurus They're all dinosaurs and they're merry Merry Platyapoctus Stegosaurus the tarantula giant and tanta. Bilanosaurus Bex. Those long ones that swim in the sea. <laughs> it's great to be a dinosaur. Oh. We couldn't ask for any more. It's great, great to, to be a dinosaur a today. It's great to be dinosaur. We couldn't ask for any more. It's great to be a dinosaur today. I lay eggs and he runs on the grass. I fly in the sky and I eat those on the floor. I swim in the ocean and eat little crustaceans for lunch. And nothing could ever happen to us. We're when here on the earth forever. It's a great to be a dinosaur. We couldn't ask for any more. It's great to be a dinosaur today. More you have a sunny disposition today, don't you? Well, I have to, Kentucky, because I have just managed to run as fast as I can, which is a record. I saw you. I saw you blitzing across the savannah. All that hard work has been paying off for you. Wow. Thank you so much, Kentucky. As a T-Rex, I have tiny little hands that don't do much except cling on and claw onto berries. And so it's important for my feet to be quick and agile. And agile they are, my Griselda. And you should be so proud because you know who was watching you today, don't you? Don't tell me Anzac was watching. Anzac, Uncle Anzac, your uncle who's come all the way from another um, uh, uh, plate, a uh, tectonic plate, <gasps> to see you for your birthday. Oh, Uncle Anzac, I couldn't be more excited that you've made it all the way over here. Oh, good, eh? Happy birthday. Here he is. He's come from a long way. I'm so bloody happy to be here. 
Oh, well, Uncle Anzac, I don't believe any of the stories that Mum tells me about you. Mum tells me that you, you, everything's upside down where you come from and that you are always making nests. Oh, but I bloody am. You know, it was a real hard time coming into this plate because I had to switch all my clothing upside down. (laughs) You're the only dinosaur I know that wears clothing, naughty Uncle Anzac. (laughs) It must be a cultural thing, I reckon. (laughs) Oh, that's me. Round here, we like to be slick, slim and naked. Oh, well, that's just a different plate for you. And you know what, Kentucky? Yeah? I brought you a little something as well. Oh, don't tell me. Is it... is it a lizard? (laughs) It's not a lizard, no. Is it, is it? Is it the bones of your enemies? No, it's not the bones of your enemies. Ah, uh, wh- what is it, Uncle Lantac? I brought you a hat. Oh, I've always wanted to wear one of these. But Mum has always said that if we dinosaurs were to ever wear clothes, that we'd be kicked out of her giant nest and left to roam the plates alone. And that's why I left. That's why I found a better plate. Where we can wear clothes. Oh, Kentucky, shut your dinosaur ears with your tail. Uncle Anzac's talking nonsense gibberidoo. Yeah, I must say I'm a little bit suspicious of you, Anzac, coming over here with your funny ideas about clothes and hats. Now, now, Kentucky, don't get jealous. You know what I brought you? What? It's because I missed your birthday last year, but I brought you a little pair of sockies. Oh. Oh, 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 I don't. Uh, I respect you as a person, Anzac, but this is a step too far to me. Here for me. Here you go, Griselda. You have the socks, but I can't be part of this. And you're lucky, Griselda, that I'm not going to go right back to your home and tell your mummy. Because if she found out, oh, it'd be trouble. Oh. Well, you know what? Well, now we can be closer. You and me, Griselda. Yeah, I love being close to my uncle. Real close. Tell me, uncle, what what kind of things do people wear on the plate where you're from? Do they wear waistcoats like I've heard of and read about in the in the plates made of stone? They absolutely do. They look so dapper and nice. And you know what? They wear mittens as well when it gets a little bit chilly. And when it's hot, do they wear maxi dresses and yes. brass? Very flowy dresses, very large. Of course. And you know what, Griselda? It's a beautiful place. Take and me so- there. Well, I actually left for a reason, <laughs> Griselda. <laughs> what? I left because the population's dying. What? And I wanted to bring clothes here. So you just abandoned your people and came over here? I am the messenger. And I have chosen you to be... My, my, uh, my, the joiner of worlds. You've chosen me? Is it because I'm really fast? Yes, Griselda. People love you. People love watching you. And you know what? I think with your influence, we could really change the world, change this plate. What what caused the population to die, though? Dinosaur chlamydia. (laughs) Dinosaur chlamydia. I've heard about that. This is why we don't wear pants or clothes at all. Mum always says that if you got clothes on, you might be inclined to take them off, and that could lead to dinochlamydia. Well, you know what? Those are all stories. Your your mum's afraid. This plate is afraid. Now, are you ready to overcome the stories and learn for yourself? What clothes and looking fancy means? All my life I've thought What would it be like to be like him? All my life I've wondered If I could fit in I practice running, running so far But I didn't know that I Chosen one could be the chosen one. Maybe I could put little mittens on my hands, and if I just had the courage.
beach I could wear a sun hat I could don a maxi dress And I could wear some leggings And say yes The chosen one Do I have in me? I've always run But maybe I could be I wear simply hide what is under there I don't want to be infected with chlamydia but I know I need to think somewhat clearer adventure calls and I will say yes adventure calls I'll wear that dress adventure calls Fled once to Uncle and Zack. I will too. Yes, Uncle Isaac. Yes. And Zack, sorry. Uncle and Zack. <laughs> you used to be called Isaac before you went over to that other plate and you changed your name to be more anti Padean. And to be more fancy. Now, you've got to do all of this, because there's not much time for me left, I'm oh, afraid. You've got the chlamydia. The dinosaur chlamydia. It's raging. Oh dear, please don't give it to my mum. I, I won't. That's my sister. <laughs> I don't know how it's transmitted. True, neither do I, that's why it infected all of us. But there's not much time left, so we've got to do this quickly. So I guess your plan is for me to wear some clothes and go for a run and save the world. And I'm ready to do it. Perfect plan. I'll start with the mittens and I'll move on to the tights. I'm going to put on fishnets and start some fights. Put on my heels and my comfort me shoes. I'm ready to cut loose. I just gave my heart and soul to the last pod, Holly. You absolutely did, but you know who I want to give my heart and soul to? The people of Melbourne. That's right. In the form of improvised musical theatre. Exactly, because from the 31st of March to the 24th of April, we are performing once live again live. Live theatre Woo! in Melbourne. It's going to be fantastic. The Comedy Festival is back, and so are we. We haven't been here since last year, so come and check us out at 7.20pm at Trades Hall 22, brand new, completely improvised musicals named by you. Last year we sold out, and we had to put on a couple of more musicals. So you better book Quickly, tickets available on our website or from Ticketmaster. Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> Don't you take one more step, young lady. What? You got a problem with me top hat? It's 
filthy, <sighs> disgusting Griselda Wizelda Tyrannosaurus. <gasps> I'm so disappointed with you. I thought I raised you better. I've always told you, don't put on clothes because you might be inclined to take them off. And then, dino chlamydia. Oh, but well, Mum, the time for that is changing. Uncle Anzac's here and Uncle Anzac wears clothes and doesn't seem to have bothered him. Yes, old neighbour Tucky told me Anzac had come back. Oh, Tucky said that Tucky wouldn't tell you, that fucky Tucky. <laughs> 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 well, at least he tells the truth. Go on, Anzac, reveal yourself. Come out from under my coat, Uncle Anzac. Oh. And that's why I don't like clothes. You never know what's hidden underneath. Now, now, I actually think Griselda looks fantastic in her coat and her hat. I think your opinions are irrelevant here in my house. I don't even know what makes you think you could dare come back to our village, our plate. Well, I think that it's bloody rich of you to talk to me like that after the last, last time you treated me. The last time I treated you meanly, you deserved it just before you, you were banished. You drove me out. You... I'll have it set to the records. I was not banished. I left of my own accord and it's because of you. You were banished, Mr. Isaac Tyrannosaurus, because you defaced the monument. It was a silly monument. It deserved a little top hat to make it look bloody fancy. That monument and you know was built at the beginning of the dinosaur race. It is older than time itself and it shows two beautiful naked dinosaurs glittering in the sunlight. Don't you see it's a metaphor for technology and innovation? We dress it up and then we as a society can progress. You're a dangerous man. You're a corrupter. You're holding on to the past. How dare you? The past is all we know. That is the only thing that is certain, which is why, Griselda Wizelda, you have to stay home for the next month. What? That's right. You're not only not going to the Australia play, you're not leaving the front doorstep. See what that teaches you. I have a very specific way of thinking about the past. I know that all the very good things are the things that we make last. Because the things that are very old, they are just worth their weight in gold. We learn our most from yesterday. About this. Tomorrow, tomorrow, the world could be better. If you think about the future, there's no, no way could hurt ya. We could do all the things, treat all the sicknesses. We think towards the future. And we will be the best your future tomorrow. The future is tomorrow. The future is tomorrow. The future is tomorrow. Yesterday is tomorrow.
rings inside that house. You shouldn't lean too far out the window, you know. A pterodactyl will come and knock your head off. I like <laughs> to see that pterodactyl try. You're the true pterodactyl, though. You're the one that went behind me back and told me mum. Oh, come on, be fair, Griselda. Your mum and I have been neighbours our whole lives. I owe it to her to tell her the truth. I've always been truthful. I'm, I'm, even when you have to be brave. That's why they call me Plucky Tucky. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the only thing they call you behind your back. Oh, well, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm very well respected and liked, which is why I am the custodian of the monument, the most revered role in this village. Oh, well, the Brontosaurus has to do something, I suppose. Not like us T-Rexes. Brontosauruses are classically cleaners. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, look, there's everyone has a role in this village. I'm the faithful neighbour, you're the obedient daughter. Well, that's not actually my role. Oh? Cucky tucky. Oh. That, that's right, I know your wife cheated on you once, <gasps> but I won't go into that. Well, hang on, let me stop you there, young lady. What have you seen out this window? Oh, uh, let's just say I saw Mr Brontosaurus <laughs> giving a stiff one to <laughs> one of the triceratops from down the lane. <gasps> Not Trelinka. Yeah. My one true love. Yeah, that's it, Trelinka cheated on you. <sighs> But anyway, that's a conversation for another day. My role is not to be an obedient daughter, Kaki Taki. My role is to be the chosen one. The one that reinstates culture here amongst these naked here dinosaurs in the legacy of Uncle Anzac. Where is that troublemaker, Uncle Anzac, anyway? He's off cacking your bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. You have got a mouth on you, and you have inherited the worst from your Uncle Anzac. Oh, well, you ain't even seen the start of what I've inherited from my Uncle Anzac, cos not only do I have a mouth, i got fast little legs. And just you watch here, I'm about to run out this window, just like your wife's going to run out on you. Hey, come back here! Come back here! Wow, these Nike shoes make me so fast. Oh, I wish I wore the right footwear. Oi. Who's that? Clint, it's me, Griselda. Oi, Griselda. You know, the one that passed you a note earlier today <laughs> by the river Shh. near the crocodiles. we got to be quiet. We don't want anyone else to hear. What, you spray painting that old... Gross monument. If I, if they find out, I'm going to be banished, just like your uncle Enzek. Yeah, and he turned out real great. You shouldn't be afraid of being banished, Clint. In fact, you should walk on the wild side. And you do more than, than spray these stupid dinosaurs. I can see that you're spraying, uh, spraying a word on it, which I won't say out loud. No, it's a very mean word. Yeah. You, you, no, nah, we won't say it. We won't say nah, it. No, we won't say it. But no. it's one but thing it's to spelled. write it, and it's one that's spelled with, <laughs> spelled with a C. With a C. And ends with a T. Yeah. Can't. <laughs> you always say things like that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But you I'm know a... what? You know what will really ruffle some wings? What? See this tap hat. <laughs> On oh. my head. You do look snazzy. See this bow tie that is dripping round my neck. I'ma do a little strip tease here. Oh, and I'ma put it on the statue. Oh, I'ma yeah. hang my hat like a bow seal. This T-Rexy is getting me hot This T-Rexy I'm thinking is pretty sexy This T-Rexy Oh, what other clothes I have That's right, this T-Rexy Is getting pretty sexy T-Rex This T-Rexy is getting me hot 
is T-Rex. T-Rex. He is so, so sexy. Hey, you over there. Yeah, hello. Oh, oh, wow. Look at you take off those clothes. Watch this. A, two, three, four, five. Oh. I'm a ton of take off this shirt. So sexy. Oh. That's right. It'll be so hot you think it hurts. Ow, ow, ow. thought about what, me? watching a T-Rex twist and shout. <gasps> Have you ever realized that if you take off your clothes, suddenly being naked means something instead of always being naked? Oh my goodness! So join me in stripping and dressing up these statues we can fake Looks it. Looks like I'm feeling very hot. This T-Rex is Everything so damn sexy This T-Rex is This T-Rex is gonna make you sexy This T-T-Rex is making you sexy Zelda's work. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if it is, I will disown her and I will send her to that Australasian plate before you can say bugs for dinner. Well, if you're going to disown me, Mum, <gasps> you're going to have to disown every other youth in this town because we sure are a sexy T Rexy gang. Oh, well, did your parents never show any respect? To you! Well, didn't they teach you to be respectful? And did you not put uh, believe in your children? If you banish all the children, you're getting rid of this town's future. And then it'll just be you and the other your oldy dinosaurs. Is that what happened over on your plate, Uncle Anzac? Only the oldies were left because all the young, hot ones got chlamydia? <laughs> Absolutely. And then I had to come here to try to save this place. But you just don't listen. I don't think... I don't think it's right. But... I... It doesn't have to be right. It just has to be... What's next? You're right, Uncle Anzac. We don't know what's right or wrong. Remember, Mum? When you laid an egg? Yeah. That egg turned into me. Sometimes evolution is a good thing. Oh, yes. You did come from me. You're different to me. You're quite a lot like me, but you are a different dinosaur. A very fast one. But gee, you know what, Griselda? It's hard to tolerate change. The past is all I've ever known, and I've got to tell you, the way things have changed, it frightens me. Mum, the only way you get better at things is if you do more of it. Imagine how much you'd accept change if you were changing clothes every day. Oh. The past may be all you've ever known, but the future is all you ever will. Oh. Well, I suppose if you, if you put it that way, 
Maybe we could shake things up a little bit around here. Starting with this hat, which you're going to put on your head. <gasps> wow. It's a Santa hat. <laughs> you look so merry, like a merry dinosaur. I feel merry. I feel magical. And you look great. I feel like... I feel like things couldn't get any better than this. Try on the Santa gloves. <laughs> See how you feel about that. <gasps> oh, they fit perfectly on my little T-Rex claws. Oh, I feel... Like it's the spirit of giving. I feel like I've finally learnt living. Living is change and boy is it scary. But in these clothes I feel light and airy. Thank you, daughter. Thank you, brother. We've learned to look after each other. Thank you, daughter. Thank you, brother. I'm so much more than just a mother. I've learned to be a living being who grows in unexpected ways Finally I'm looking forward to tomorrow when I was all caught up in yesterday's Evolution is the final solution <laughs> Evolution, let's march forward to our destiny. Evolution, it's the final solution. Let's march forward to our destiny. There's no distinction in extinction. What you found today will pave the way if we can. In culture, our culture, then maybe we can evolve to vultures. Evolution, evolution is, the is the solution. Yes. Evolution, evolution is the solution. Evolution is a funky solution. Let's march forward to our destiny. I'm pretty sure that Uncle Anzac died of chlamydia about a day later. I he definitely did. I think, actually, in all likelihood, probably they all died of chlamydia. <laughs> yeah. And that explains what happened to the dinosaur. Well, That's what the scientists won't tell you. Yeah. Well, yeah. Inevitably, an orgy came after that scene. Yeah, <laughs> right? that's right. Everyone took off their clothes, their newfound clothes, and descended into a life of sin and finally death. The mum was right all along. She was. She was the wise one, wasn't she? Yeah. Mm. Uh, well, but if only, if only we looked after our monuments. I'm not going to get political. <laughs> it's too, it's too much of an issue, isn't it? But also, had the mother 
uh, not change, then mammals would never have been able to develop from microscopic beings into human beings. Wow. And then we'd never have global warming and... Right. Yeah. And a return to the dinosaur age yeah. once mammals are extinct. Well, that's the circle of life. There you have it. Um, look, uh, that was so much fun. Thank you so much, Jacob. Thank you so much, Cohen. Thank you, Isabel. And thank you to Emmett on tech who's bringing the high to the room. <laughs> Um, and uh, look, if you're interested in hearing a special bonus song, uh, we have recorded a special one. Um, and the only clue I'll give you is that it's got lots of the themes of yesterday, tomorrow, today. Um, but to find out more, you're going to have to sign up to our Patreon and listen for yourself. Um, but for the time being, goodbye. Keep growing. Keep evolving. Because it is as we all know. Evolution is the solution. Evolution is the funky, funky solution. Evolution is the solution. Evolution is the funky, funky, funky.